does Islam tell us about political engagement? This is a hot topic that many Muslims ask. Should we, as Muslims living in the West, should we engage in politics? Should we vote? Should some of our youth run for office? Should we lobby with certain political groups, political parties, individuals? Should we financially support political campaigns and contribute to political campaigns? This is a question that is posed and we see that there is a divide. We see there's two opposing views. One view states that we as Muslims living in the West should abstain from politics. We should have nothing to do with politics. We should not vote. We should not run for office. We should not support or endorse any political candidates or any political campaigns. Let's stay away from politics. Why? Because these governments are oppressive governments. They have occupied our countries and they are supporting tyrannical regimes. This is one view. This is one camp. There's a, a great percentage, a good percentage of the Muslim community and even in the Shia community who have this opinion that political engagement is, uh, is forbidden. We should abstain from political engagement. This is one view. On the other hand, there's another view that says that we live in this country. Those of us that are citizens, if you live in America, you're American. If you live in Canada, you're Canadian. If you live in the UK, you're English. If you live in Australia, you're an Aussie. Wherever you live and you carry a citizenship, you're part of that country. You're part and parcel of that country. Don't you pay taxes? Who doesn't pay taxes? If you are residing in a country legally and you're not in trouble with the authorities and you're making money, that means you're paying taxes when you pay taxes. Isn't that considered supporting an oppressive regime? Whether you like it or not, when you live in a country, when you live in a society and you're paying your taxes, you're engaged in that regime. So by saying, I will not vote, you're not giving your voice, but you're paying your money. You're giving your taxes to these governments that in your eyes are oppressive, that are supporting us oppressive regimes, regimes and dictatorships and countries. If you're not paying your taxes, you're either breaking the law or you're about to go to jail. Most of us pay taxes. That's support for these governments. How come you don't say, well, I'm not going to pay taxes. You won't vote, but you pay taxes. This is a double standard. Look at the logic of the Quran. Look at the logic of the Quran and you will be able to decide which view is most in accordance to the Quran. You be the judge. The view that says let's abstain from political engagement or the view that says we should engage in politics in our countries. Look, the Quran says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُغَيِّرُ مَا بِقَوْمٍ حَتَّى يُغَيِّرُ مَا بِأَنفُسِهِمْ You want to sit and complain of Islamophobia, that we Muslims don't have our rights in certain states. They want to ban the niqab, they want to ban the hijab in public places. You want to sit and complain. Allah says, I gave you the ability to do something about it. You could have improved your situation, but you couldn't. But you didn't. Not that you couldn't. You didn't. So who are you to blame? Why do you put the blame on others? Why do you expect that Allah will perform a miracle for you when you sit lazily and you don't do anything for yourself? Allah will not change us unless lest we make change for ourselves. We change ourselves. And then Allah will say, I'll give you a push and I will support you. The Quran says, Say, act, produce, contribute, make a difference. Each human is judged based on his efforts. The effort that you make to change yourself, to change your family, to change your community, to change your nation, to change your country. It's based on your efforts. 
a famous hadith by one of the imams i believe imam al kadhim alayhi salam kafaratu amal al sultan musa'adatu al ikhwan islam doesn't say that you cannot engage in politics engage in politics even if you work for the sultan but there's a cost the cost is that you help your brothers and sisters you help your community imam al kadhim had a companion by the name of ali ibn yaqtin Ali ibn Yaqtin worked for the worst tyrant, for the worst dictator, Harun al-Rashid. He worked for him. Ali ibn Yaqtin was his minister. And several times, Ali ibn Yaqtin would ask Imam al-Kadhim, should I continue working for, Han for Harun al-Rashid or should I stop? The Imam would tell him, continue. Work. Work for Harun al-Rashid, but serve your brothers and sisters. Work for the Shia. Work for the Shia community. Work for Harun al-Rashid. But don't oppress anyone, but at the same time, serve the Shia community. This is a lesson that we have to engage in politics. Voting is important, my dear friends. Voting is important. This is a right. Why do you forfeit that right? When you don't vote, when the Muslim community don't, doesn't vote, political candidates are not going to cater for you. They could care less about us and for our rights. Why? Because we didn't vote for them. If we are not a major voting factor, if we Muslims don't have enough votes and we don't contribute to political campaigns, but others do, put yourself in the shoes of a political candidate. Who is he going to care for more? Those who vote for him or those who don't vote for him? It's common sense. It's logical. Those who vote for you, those who vote, you're going to go and cater to them. But if you're a community that doesn't even engage in politics, never votes, never go out, goes out for the ballots, you sit at home, no one's going to cater for you. No one's going to care for you. No one's going to care for your rights. They're going to say, you know, who cares about this community because they don't make a difference. They don't contribute to political campaigns and they don't vote. We need youth to run for office. If we want rights, in these countries, in Canada, in America, in the UK, in Europe, in Australia, in New Zealand, we need our youth to run for office, to fight for our rights, to go out and fight for our rights. No one will fight for your rights other than yourself. 